There's fish. Oh, got him. <laughs> nice. Saw him come up fast. That was cool. All right, first ice fish of the morning. You know, ice fishing is really, really weird when you think about it. If you think about the properties, physical properties of ice that have to exist to make this possible, I mean, it's really mind blowing to me. I think it's this uniqueness of ice fishing, not the fact that we're just drilling a single hole and then catching lots of fish through just a tiny hole, oftentimes using really simple lures. Got an old scar around his eye there, you see that red? I think another thing that really blows my mind about ice fishing is the fact that there's this singular property of ice. So here's this beautiful piece of ice. I'm walking on some absolutely gorgeous four inch ice today and it's supporting my weight, absolutely no problem. And the reason it can support my weight is because as water freezes, it forms a crystalline structure. And this is of course what gives it its strength. Uh, but more importantly, it's what gives it a very unique property for a lot of substances in our universe. Uh, if you look at all the matter and all the different compounds in the universe, when they're in their solid state, they're often more dense than when they're in their liquid state. So if you were to throw a solid ball of steel or iron into liquid iron or liquid steel, it would sink, right? Because it's a higher density than the liquid around it. But the opposite is true for ice and it floats. And the reason why this is so important is that if it didn't float, all of our lakes in the north that freeze every year and in the mountains, all the fish in those lakes would die. And we're gonna talk about why that would be the case. Oh, there's fish. Come on, he's looking at it. There's a couple of them. Come on. There he is, got him. <laughs> there's two of them right there. That was cool. Came in at the same time. Yeah, so as our northern lakes, as they freeze, ooh, it's really pretty. Is this a tiger? Oh, it is a tiger. Awesome. Yeah, so as our northern lakes freeze, what happens, what would happen if ice was denser is the ice would fall and the lake would slowly freeze from the bottom up until the whole thing would freeze. And of course, all these beautiful fish would die every year, like this awesome tiger trout. Oh, yeah, look at the beautiful coloration on that tiger. That's a hybrid brook brown trout. Very pretty. All right, let's get that beautiful tiger back on its way. And an additional benefit of having ice that floats is after it creates a cap on the lake, it will also insulate that lake and help keep the heat of the earth trapped underneath the ice and helps keep uh, water temperatures down there a little bit warmer than they would be otherwise because now it basically has this blanket of ice on top which helps trap warmth in the water and uh, water actually retains heat really well and so by trapping that warmth underneath there it also allows the fish to continue to thrive underneath the ice it doesn't become uh, sub-zero underneath the ice and it keeps it a little bit warmer and they can feed throughout the winter and maintain their health I splash net it. Come on. There he's got him. <laughs> that was great. It's all wrapped up. Here we go. Another one. Ooh, that's a nice size rookie. Beastie boy. That's got some length on it. That'd be a nice pan. Pan fish. Yeah, so it's pretty amazing if you I love looking at like images from the International Space Station. I'm gonna get that nice brookie going. And you look down on Earth, especially the Northern Hemisphere in winter, and all you can see is this vast area of snow and ice. And it's a reminder that we are still very much living in an ice age. Uh, we're just in a period between glaciation, right? Not, not too long ago, glaciers came all the way down and where I'm sitting now and fishing, there would have been a kilometer of ice above my head. 
But if you think about that and all of the impacts that these periods of glaciation and our winter because of the tilt of the earth, you know, if you think about how many lakes, especially shallow lakes, would freeze completely, fishing in Canada and the northern United States would be really boring because all the lakes would get killed off every year. Even if fish had a chance to colonize via river systems from the south, they could never stay in those lakes. Those lakes would freeze from top to bottom most years. All right, I'll try shallow here for a little while. We've gotten to be very light biters as the day has gone on. Sometimes I think these trout and char, they just patrol a certain area of the lake and you fish an area and you, most of the fish have kind of cycled through that are gonna come through and be interested in your gear and then you move to a new spot and you get a fresh batch of fish that are sort of doing their loops in the same area. Fish. There he is, got him. Nice. Woo, another tiger. That's a good sized one too. Excellent. I figured moving shallow would be better. Beautiful fish. Look at that beautiful, beautiful tiger trout. Man, aren't they stunning? What great coloration and pattern on those guys. Had to move up a little bit shallow uh, so I could find some more fish because it was getting really slow out deeper. Uh, but that's just how it goes. Sometimes you gotta move around. That's kind of the cool thing about ice fishing is you can sometimes sit in a hole all day long and catch fish. And sometimes you gotta bounce around quite a bit and kind of chase them. Let's get this guy back underneath the ice. There's a fish. Come on. There he is. Got him. Nice. Ooh, another tiger. It's a wheat. He came right in for that thing like crazy. Man, they are such pretty fish. And, and of course, they wouldn't be here if it wasn't for ice. If it wasn't for ice's it wasn't for the property of ice that makes it less dense when it freezes into that crystalline structure all of these fish would die every winter and there would be no opportunity to fish in our northern lakes during the winter time and they wouldn't survive to make it through to the next year and grow into even more beautiful fish so it's really cool to think about just something so simple as a property of ice provides all this opportunity for us and it's really amazing to me. Maybe I'm just being really silly and waxing poetic as a scientist, but uh, I just really think it's amazing that something so simple can have such a profound impact on an entire ecosystem. And of course, I love ice fishing and I love fishing in general, and I wouldn't be able to do it without that simple property that ice is less dense in a solid form than in a liquid form. All right, I'm gonna get this guy going and call it a day. I'll see you next time. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. <laughs>